to say the Chavez thing pushed me over would be completely inaccurate because that would make it sound like, oh, I was fine, and then the Chavez debacle happened. But what I did find, and I think you guys are actually probably witnesses to that, I, I think I probably spent more quality time with both sides of the Chavez debate than anybody in the building. I mean, I, I sort of said to you guys and others, I think I can mediate this thing. Mm -hmm. And I, I tried. I put hours into each side. And it wasn't the inability to do it. It was that when you're really on as a city commissioner, there's a role that you play that I'm still very capable of playing, but I'm not relishing like I did a few years ago. I'm not like, I wasn't like excited to be in the middle of the fray, which, uh -huh. which I was not all that long ago. And that became a signal to me, not not that it wasn't solvable, or not that it was a debacle, or not that the mayor walked out on me. <laughs> you know, I mean, that that was all. You know, to me, that was all just part of the job. It was more that there was something going on with me that I, you know, and there was a Sunday at Starbucks where, you know, I mean, one, if you're on the city council, you need to be prepared to work. And I, I say this not as a bad thing at all, it's, it's invigorating, but you need to be prepared to work whenever you leave your house. Mm -hmm. And people are very polite and very friendly, mm -hmm. they're not rude, but they rightfully expect that if they see you in Starbucks and the Chavez thing is going on, that they ought to have a second to talk to you about it. And I think that's totally reasonable. I have no, no argument with that. But I found that I'm less interested <laughs> in the, the last stretch. And so, you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's a really very much, you know, a human thing. And I think it's okay for humans to mm -hmm. feel a change in their gut and want to